Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 Beta 6. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. Let's talk about what's all new which is expected to come on the iOS 17 Beta 6 and I will also discuss about iOS 17 Beta 5. This is a follow-up plus preview video of iOS 17 Beta 5 and the preview of iOS 17 Beta 6. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe subscribe button because i keep on making these type of videos for you guys and you guys seem to love these so please hit that subscribe button and now that you've done that let's get right into this video shall we all right so starting up with the follow-up of ios 17 beta 5 let's refresh it up real quick and talk about basic things of ios 17 beta 5 that i have noticed in the past couple of days the battery life the performance the bugs and all what has been my experience of ios 17 beta 5 till now if you haven't installed it yet so ios 17 beta 5 has been pretty solid it for me this is one of the best versions i have been on because surprisingly the ios 17 beta 5 has noticeably increased the battery life the battery life seems to be noticeably better and this is the first beta that i'm saying it on because since the beta one i did not saw any major change in fact the battery life was getting worse with the betas the beta one had the worst battery and then the beta two improved it a little bit then beta three improved it a little bit more but it was still really really pathetic and then the beta three it made it even worse than the beta Beta 4 made it even worse than the beta 4 re-release made it better than the beta 5 game and this is the best version of ios 17 beta that i have been on in terms of battery life i am getting noticeably more screen on time about 30 to 35 minutes more which is really big thing then talking about the performance of ios 17 beta 5 the performance of ios 17 beta 5 seems to be pretty much the same as ios 17 beta 4 re-release Yes, I am underlining it re-release because the difference between the re-release and the beta 4 was really big. The performance on the iOS 17 beta 4 was not good but the re-release made it noticeably better and then the beta 5 came and the beta 5 has really good performance as well i have barely noticed any glitches or any lag in general on this os it is pretty stable and pretty good in general until i come to bugs because there are a lot of bugs i mean come on like at this point there are more and more new bugs with every single beta the bugs are not getting resolved i mean they are getting resolved but at the same time in the next beta we get a new bug how is this even getting resolved i have no clue what i mean is if today we got a keyboard bug in the next beta it will be fixed but then we will have some other bugs uh, for example uh, swiping up bug or for example using control center having bugs using home app or something like that it is really weird and ios 17 bugs are so pathetic in general they can't be used in day-to-day -day task and uh, using it on your primary device for sure it is a hassle to use it on your primary device not to forget it depends from device to device because to be honest it works pretty good on my iphone 13 but not as good as it seems on my iphone 13 on my iphone 12 it is a whole different story on my iphone 12 for some reason now talking about your favorite part that is ios 17 beta 6 let's talk about the release date real quick the day i'm uploading this video it is monday and it is 14th of august today so the thing is that apple has switched to one week cycle what this means is that apple will release the public betas within 24 to 48 hours of the developer beta that is pretty great and we will have developed upper betas every single week woohoo that is a big thing right that is really exciting i know that you don't have to wait a lot for the new features and changes all right getting it started is when is the ios 17 beta 6 expected to be released the ios 17 beta 6 is expected to release today or tomorrow most likely it will be released tomorrow which is 15th of august let's see what happens and i am pretty sure tomorrow is the day when we will see the ios 17 beta 6 talking about the changes the one big change that i want apple to add is 
wallpapers oh my god see wallpapers on ios 17 are incredible i love them but that doesn't mean that we do not want more because we will eventually see more new wallpapers then talking about the one and only bug that is not getting resolved for some reason apple what are you even doing why are you not addressing this bug yes ladies and gentlemen we are talking about the wallpaper bug oof this is getting so bad. It is getting on my nerves now. Not gonna lie. Because iOS 17, it's been almost six betas. The time I'm recording this video, we have five betas. But we still do not have the wallpaper bug getting resolved. This is getting frustrating. Oh, man. Let's hope that Apple will fix the wallpaper bug on the iOS 17 beta 6. Not gonna lie, I do not have a lot of hopes for that. I have more hopes for them to add new wallpapers than this. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Seriously. Because at this point, wallpaper bugs should have been resolved. And I have no clue why it is not getting resolved. And Apple is taking so much time. Then the next thing is the animation. Yes. All right. So the number one animation which was removed on the beta 5 was that screen animation. What I mean is when you use your device really close to your eyes, there is new feature on iOS 17 which says that you should keep your device at a distance because it will uh, harm your eyes that had an animation which is gone on ios 17 beta 5 that animation that phone animation that arrow animation will be coming back on the ios 17 beta 6 and let's hope that we will see more new things and more new features on the ios 17 beta 6 i am looking forward to it and i'm really really excited for it thank you so much for watching this video till the end my name is jay you are watching tech hype thank you so much for watching till the end please hit that subscribe button if you're new here and before ending this video let me quickly address some of your questions you had some queries which you guys talked to me on my twitter you can dm me on my twitter i am most active there and i am always answering you guys on my twitter whenever you message me so at the rate tech hyped or link below the like button you can message me on my twitter so one of you asked that is it worth installing ios 17 on iphone 10r you can watch my video i have made several reviews of iphone 10r on ios 17 i will link it below the like button so it will be easy for you to watch those or up in the icard but in general concluding it all yes it is worth it if you are using it as secondary device but if you are using it as your primary device because iphone 10r is already really old and it does lack some of the new features of ios 17 you should probably skip and install the public version directly when it comes in september come on september is not that far so you can wait a little bit if it is your primary device or if it is your secondary device you can for sure go ahead and give it a shot because iphone 10r is a really amazing phone and it works really amazing on the ios 17 version peace out and have a great day everyone